Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the best 60% keyboards in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these keyboards, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which keyboard are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. HyperX Alloy Origin 60 – Best for the Money Starting off, we have the HyperX Alloy Origin 60. Thanks to its aluminium body, it feels fantastically well-built. It uses HyperX red linear switches which feel very light and responsive, and they require less force to actuate than other linear switches do. While the function row and command keys have been removed, the side of each key clearly displays alternate functions that make up a secondary suite of controls accessed using the function key. It has full RGB backlighting with an extremely customizable brightness level, letting you bring the minimum brightness to 1%, which isn't something we see on most keyboards. While it's certainly smaller, the HyperX Alloy Origin 60 is by no means lighter. Something else I should mention is that the click latency is incredibly low, so it should feel very responsive while gaming. The entire body is made of a sturdy aluminium, which, while adding a few extra pounds, makes it backpack resilient. Plus, there's no chance of the Alloy Origin 60 sliding across the desk during your more intense sessions either. The HyperX Alloy Origin 60 is an excellent mini keyboard if you're looking to dive into the 60% trend and don't want to compromise on your speed for a low price tag. Number 4. Razer Huntsman Mini – Best for Gaming Moving on, we have an excellent keyboard from Razer. It's the Huntsman Mini. Razer Huntsman Mini carries the brand's standout optical mechanical switch into its first 60% keyboard. With each key's light feel accompanied by premium double-shot PBT keycaps, it can be great for both gaming and typing. The Huntsman Mini has no space for showmanship in its 60% form factor. Beyond its optical switches, this is a much different keyboard than the Huntsman Elite and strips things down to the bare minimum. There are options for red or purple optical switches underneath the keys, though you'd be forgiven for not noticing the difference, as they're not visible during normal use. The Mini also has a removable USB-C to USB-A cord that's easy to store when not in use. Many of the Razer Huntsman Mini's keys have additional functions printed on their sides, which you can activate with the function key, or by using Razer software to map your own configuration. It's not really a Razer gaming peripheral without colourful RGB lighting, and the Huntsman Mini comes with a number of delightful RGB presets. Gamers can actually switch among the seven options without opening up the software, which is convenient when you want to switch up your colour scheme mid-game. The Mini does what it promises. It shrinks the standard keyboard down to 60% of its size while maintaining its full functionality through secondary commands and configurable setups. Number 3. Drop Alt – Best RGB Keyboard Alt is a fantastic keyboard, particularly for those looking to investigate the deep and wide mechanical niche. It features excellent build and lighting, and it comes with all the bells and whistles you'd want, and it better considering the price. The Alt and Larger Control aren't the only keyboards in the market with hot-swappable keycaps, and you could build one yourself. You can find one from suppliers like GMMK at a significant discount. However, it won't have that wonderful aluminium case, magnetic feet, RGB lighting, programming via QMK, pass-through USB-C data, and so on. There's also a built-in translucent LED diffuser to minimize hotspots found in many other keyboards. If you want the ultimate mechanical keyboard in a standard layout and you don't want to build it yourself, the Alt is worth the admission price. And best of all, it'd be compatible with hundreds of Switch variants old and new for years to come. To enhance the backlighting, there are shine-through double-shot PBT keycaps too. Grab it with your choice of switches to get just the feel you want. Number 2. And Pro 2 best runner-up. Moving on, we have the Anpro 2. It's a 60% keyboard that came with a variety of Gatoron switches, perky RGB lighting, and supported both a Bluetooth 3.0 and wired connection. While it was an amazing keyboard, it did have software and hardware issues. At first glance, the Anpro siblings seem identical, but a closer look reveals the various improvements and features in the latest model. One of the differences is the switches. The original Anpro came with Obin software for Windows and mobile devices, which was clunky at best. It required a Bluetooth connection to work, and when it did connect, it wasn't very intuitive and didn't always save your settings. With Obin's Lab Starter, the entire user interface has been revamped and is much easier to set up the keyboard. 
There are multiple tabs to adjust key layout, lighting, special settings, firmware, and to create macros. Obins has really improved the ANPRO with better Bluetooth connectivity, which never missed or repeated a keystroke. The addition of USB-C is also a welcome change, since it's much easier plugging in the cable without looking at the port. The Kali switches and improved stabilizer bars for the larger keys make the typing and gaming experience much better. Number 1. Ducky 1-2 Mini – Best Multi-Purpose Keyboard The Ducky 1-2 Mini is the best 60% keyboard on the market. It packages a plethora of customization, high-quality, nice touches in one good-looking package. At its price point, the Ducky 1-2 Mini is considered a premium keyboard, but it's completely worth the price. This is the keyboard to beat in the 60% space and overall as well. The Ducky 1-2 Mini sports a quintessential 60% design with just the essentials. With its FN layer system, you won't really lose all that much in terms of functionality when compared to a TKL. The 60% design, of course, gives you back a lot of room on your desk. If you can live without a numpad, I'd recommend a 60% for gaming. Your mouse could always use more space, especially if you game at low sensitivity or your desk space is limited. The Ducky 1-2 Mini's quality really shows here. This is the most enjoyable typing experience I've had on a mainstream board. For gamers, I would recommend the Silent Reds, Browns or Speeds, and in the Ducky, you can't really go wrong. It's hard to go back on quality after you've experienced a board like the Ducky 1-2 Mini. If you don't really think you'll miss the numpad and are really craving more desk space, the Ducky 1-2 Mini should be one of your first candidates. Buying Guide Switches Knowing what you intend to use the keyboard for and what levels of noise, travel distance and bump you desire will allow you to narrow down your options considerably. By far, the most popular switches are Cherry MX, and they come in multiple varieties that offer different features depending on just what you're looking for. Cherry MX black switches offer no tactile or audio feedback. That means you don't feel any bump upon actuation, nor will you hear any noise. Cherry MX Blue have a slight bump and a clicking sound that you'll hear upon actuation. Pressing the key to about halfway point actuates it, so unlike the black, you don't need to bottom it out in order to get the job done. Cherry MX Brown switches are almost the same switches as the blue, only they're much quieter. Layout Another major aspect that one should consider when buying a keyboard is the keyboard layout. As when a user presses a key on the keyboard, say for instance A, the keyboard does not understand what A is, and it would rather correspond to the letter A with its raw key code value mapped during the functional arrangement of the keyboard. So, based on the different regions across the world, there are three types of layouts that are currently considered the standard – ANSI, ISO, and JIS. ANSI, or American National Standards Institute, is a common layout found on keyboards used across North America and certain parts of Western Europe whereas the ISO or International Standards Organization layout is seen on keyboards in Europe, and the JIS or Japan Industrial Standards keyboard is specific to Japan. Compatibility Most keyboards nowadays connect to the computer via USB ports. The old PS2 ports are almost obsolete. Wireless keyboards connect to the system via Bluetooth and are somewhat tricky to set up, unlike the plug-and-play USB cord keyboard. Most keyboards need some software installed on your computer to use the function keys. Make sure the keyboard is compatible with your system before you actually buy one.